So I am here with Ask Yourself. I am here with Chris Hines. I am here with Tim Jong Un. Say something, Tim. What's up, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> he he's uh, not going to say much, but he wants to introduce his uh, new famous avatar. And I'm also here with the philosophical vegan. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to have have. Uh, Chris is going to have the floor for about the first 30 minutes. Chris had done a live stream. Who, who was on your live stream with you, Chris? Oh, God, I'm trying to remember now. I think Tim was on there. Liam Anthony. Um, I think Tim, who else was on the stream? Do you remember? Well, there, there's, there's a, a link to it. Them. There's a link to it in the description if any of you guys want to check it out. And there's links to all these guys' channels in the description as well. So they did a, a live stream where it seemed like Chris actually understood my argument, my in-group moral communities argument a bit. I, I the, the crux of the stream was really, okay, now that we understand it, we can take him down because we can figure out a way to get around it. <laughs> That's exactly how it was. I know. So it's a hilarious stream if you want to listen to it. And the whole time I'm thinking, yes. Finally, they're talking about moral psychology. I, I've uh, got involved in this vegan thing because I'm interested in moral psychology. I could care less about the veganism. But now, now uh, I think many people don't even realize that when they say, you know, that's immoral, that they're just saying that's my morality. And all of us seem to be going around in these bubbles of morality. Uh, Jonathan Haidt calls it the moral matrix. Like we're all in separate matrices. And then when people try to communicate with one another, it's like they're speaking different languages and there's all this miscommunication going on. So I, I got to give it to you, Chris. I was super impressed that you seem to understand my argument, even though uh, it was a little bit motivated reasoning in that you were wanting to use it to debunk my argument, but that's good. At least we're we're talking <laughs> we about the same thing now. So, what okay, uh, cool. what do you do? You, uh, what do you? How, where do you want to go? It's the floor is yours. Well, I mean, I guess we, I guess should we just explain what my argument against? Well, what it was. I said I think I'd probably be the best. Yeah, sure. Start, go wouldn't? ahead. So sum up what okay. you're saying in the stream. Okay, so what you were saying is we got two groups. Say, um, you know, you're saying using in group though. The other group has also got their in group though. But if they kill you, you're saying that that is um not contradictory of your group's morality but of their group's morality correct that is exactly right okay cool right so what I, we need i'd also to... point out that's just not a true statement but i'm going to try to hold my tongue here because <laughs> no, 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 that's cool. you, hey if you want to grab if, hey ask yourself if you want to grab a pencil and paper and just take take notes you will have the floor in 30 minutes <laughs> and you're welcome to just take whatever arguments are thrown out down it, yeah, I, I just want it to be clear to the audience sitting here listening when I'm sitting here passively not saying anything. That's by request of these guys. I do think that it's profoundly wrong to suggest that it's not a contradiction to simultaneously use and reject the same justification well, for murder. We're going we're gonna to get into that. So go ahead, Chris. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, what, what, it clear. What, what I'd firstly like to say is I am certainly not any sort of philosopher or anything like oh, that. Oh, me neither. <laughs> so we're... Just, just to let everyone know, I've only, I've only kind of got into this whole kind of logical argumentation thing fairly recently. And thanks to Isaac, um, he's kind of got me on, on this kind of path. So I, I could be terribly wrong with things. So definitely don't take everything I say. You know. Well, to, I, I'm you know, here to that, tell you if you're right with my argument. So that... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's cool. Well, you, you're, you're, you're agreeing with that. So that, that's cool. We'll, 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 you know, we'll say we got an agreement there. So, so, so basically... Go ahead. So what we know... Yeah, so what we need to do now is basically we need to chuck you out of your own in-group right? and work out that part, really, to see whether there is contradictions within your own group. So you said that animals aren't in your group. Why is that? Uh, and and I, I got in a Twitter discussion over DMs with a vegan as well, and he was giving me charts and stuff and saying, is this right? Is this right? And he did a great job of showing animals well he had the arrows going the wrong way he was saying we're throwing animals out of the in group and i'm saying no the animals were never in the in group yeah M more, which i'm cool with so yeah why why, why why weren't they ever ever in it what was the, what's the reasoning because being hu in humans function uh, as a eusocial species we we function like bees function 
Like our society is a super organism the same way a beehive is a, is a super organism. So us as individuals, a lot of times we feel like we're separate and we do separate more than a bee separates, obviously, but without society, we're as, as helpless as a bee without a beehive. So letting uh, bees do... Well, I don't know that bees let any other organisms in. I know that ants let other organisms in to kind of use in the same way that we use animals. But though, it, just because they're letting those organisms into their ant nest doesn't mean that those organisms like belong there. They're not throwing the organisms out, and we're doing the same thing. We're, okay. we're selecting animals that we want to include because they aid us in creating this super organism we call society. Okay. Well, just just say your conscious then was thrown into another creature that wasn't a human, mm -hmm. uh, which then isn't in your in-group. Mm -hmm. um, would you then accept being killed? I because think, you're now well, you, you got close in the stream because you were saying uh, chucked out of your own in-group. And I mentioned this in my very first video. I said, if, you know, if I was, if criminals are chucked out of the in-group all the time, and they don't like being chucked out of the in-group, but when they commit crimes against society, we throw them out of the out of the group and put them to death in many cases. If you're in Texas, <laughs> you're, yeah, that, going, that, you're going to the that, electric chair. That's all fine, but I, I'm more interested in what means the animals cannot. I, I'm more interested in what can't be in your in-group and the reasoning they can't be because it has to be there, some sort there of is, justification. There is no, nothing that can't be in the in-group, and this is. That you guys are putting an axiom on your vegan morality that is whatever you do can't be arbitrary. That seems to be an axiom of vegan morality. And it's not an axiom of my morality, and it's generally not an axiom of, uh, of other moralities. The reason I used the bacon thing in the ISIS morality was because I was saying, listen, sometimes there's things that are arbitrary that just you know, get picked for who knows what reason. Like right now in the social justice uh, versus anti-feminist crowd, like they on their side have this arbitrary thing that you can't talk to the enemy, which, you know, why is that there? Like it's could be said it's arbitrary. So the eating yeah, bacon thing is definitely arbitrary. arbitrary. If we chucked you out for, you know, for arbitrary reason, you're not going to accept that. Uh, that is correct. Yes, that yeah. is correct. But letting someone uh, in for an, so this, letting so someone in for an arbitrary reason is a lot different. Like, think about it if you're joining a club, right? Kicking okay. somebody out of a club for an arbitrary reason is worse than letting someone in for an arbitrary reason, right? If you let someone in because you know you know them at work, that's fine. But if you kick them out because you know them at work, that's why. W why wouldn't you let the animals in then? Uh, they. Well, first of all, they're food. <laughs> so, like, okay. Well, hu well, humans could be food. Uh, yes, but humans yeah. are in the so we, web. So we can't use food. food. Food could come from numerous sources. They're not the only may, source may, of food. We have. May, may I say something? Sure, Carl? go yeah, ahead. Sure. Uh, animals aren't a source of food for us today. You know, we feed the animals food. So, I mean, that that in itself is not a reason today. I mean, in the past, it has been because animals in hundreds of years past, when we didn't have the agricultural technology. When we weren't able to say get B12 from bacteria and you know eat it in delicious cherry flavored pills, I, then animals were source of food. They were source of nutrition. So there was a reason to keep them out. Today, well, there doesn't seem to be the reason. Anything. The yeah, reason absolutely. to keep them out is because we don't want. Like we would feel horrible if we killed a pet for food. Like we would feel horrible if we killed another human being for food. We would feel horrible if we killed a relative for food. So you should the, feel horrible for killing other animals. But that's a different them. argument. That's a totally different argument. Well, not, you they're do. exactly the same as your dog. You they're do. the same as your dog. You do. They're the same as your cat. You do feel well, horrible, but I don't feel horrible. And many you other people feel don't horrible. feel horrible. It doesn't mean just because you don't feel horrible, it doesn't mean the act isn't in itself isn't horrible. Well, that's a question of metaethics. Chris, you're, you're kind of asking him why they aren't in the in-group, whereas we should be asking questions of should. You know, why shouldn't they? You know, why should they be? And that's a question of well, I, I've answered why they shouldn't be. I've a answered why they shouldn't be already. Well, you, you've answered that you, you accept arbitrary reasons. You know, why letting somebody in the in-group or kicking somebody out, there's 
there's not really any argument you could make to say that those are fundamentally different. I mean, say you let somebody in your club who nobody else likes, you know, this really stinky guy, that could be a lot worse than just kicking somebody out that nobody likes. I mean, it depends on your perspective on that. Sure. So what I'm saying is that you, the, the, the bottom line is that we disagree on whether uh, ethical principles can be arbitrary or not. You think they can be arbitrary, that's why you are a relativist or subjectivist, and we say that, no, they, they can't be arbitrary. Let, they need to be consistent. Well, let me, don't, don't, don't speak for me. Don't speak for me. Let well, me, I'm speaking for vegans who are logically consistent. No, hey, well, don't, not don't, me. don't, I mean, I hey, not arbitrary. yet, not yet. Let's wait. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, let's whoa, at least he's, go he's 30 minutes. My, yeah, but he spoke on my behalf, so I'm just no, being clear. I, no, it's I'm not. Okay, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking to him. Ask yourself. <laughs> he's, okay, well, he's, while I'm being spoken for, <laughs> I will comment. So, no, no, no. You know, go on. Uh, at, okay, assume, assume everything I'm saying does not apply to ask yourself. I'm just speaking right. for Thank rational you. consequentialist uh, vegans. You're you're implying. Right, okay. So anyway, uh, so let me clarify on my arbitrary statement a bit. Actually, you know, I, I lost my train of thought in the in the in the melee there. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Go go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead with what you're saying. Uh, the the oh I, I remember now. Okay. The arbitrary thing, it's it's very and I'm speaking descriptively here. Uh, ar okay. arbitrary really things. Not. Let me let me finish here. Arbitrary things can help moral communities form, and they've done studies where different communes. Uh, uh, they they've actually done studies. I forget the book that it's in. I think it's Robert Putnam's book where he looks at a variety of different communes, and those communes. Uh, and the length of life those communes lasted and found that the communes that tried to use rational reasoning for every different rule that they have inside the commune didn't last near as long as the communes that had arbitrary rules that forced people to give up things like bacon or wearing their shoes in the house. Because the, the longer that they lived in that community, w like doing these unrational things together, it just knitted that community together tighter and <laughs> they didn't want to leave. So when I'm talking about things in terms of rules, sometimes rules make a community work better that we don't necessarily understand those rules from outside that community because they're so, they seem arbitrary to us but they have value that we're not necessarily seeing from outside. So, Okay, can I address that? Yeah, sure, go ahead. All right, well, what you're talking about is a cult. I mean, when you have arbitrary rules, you need some kind of authority to enforce those. And what, what, is is the difference between a, what is the difference between a cult and, uh, and a nation or, a, or the church or like... Uh, like Humans form communities. Are is every single community is a bowling league a cult? No, there are differences between why people are forming communities. People can form communities around a particular authoritarian ideology, particularly that has like a charismatic. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That good, I, good. Hey, speak no. up, speak up, Tim. So, sorry, uh, we're uh, finish your thought, but we need to give Chris back the floor. We're taking Chris's time. Okay, so that's sorry cool. about that, Chris. No, that's um, cool. So, so a cult compared to a nation, the reason these communities break down is because they are within, like within nations. The nation is actually providing some kind of utility. A cult doesn't necessarily build on that. It provides people a, a sense of meaning. No utility for you. You're not in the cult. <laughs> well, wait, well, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're, not... you're in the cult, the you're utility in... provides its emotional utility. You're in a cult. You know, you're in a cult. You're in the vegan cult, but you don't know it. So... Let's go back I, I'm to not. ask yourself, might be, but I'm not. Let's go back to Chris. Stop taking snipes at ask yourself too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I haven't even been listening, to be honest. Well, good, good. <laughs> come back. Go get yourself a beer, Isaac, and come back in 15. Minutes. I'm just waiting to merc this fellow guy. So whenever, whenever you're ready, we're we're <laughs> excited about that. Trust me, we're all waiting. <laughs> come on, Chris. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right, let's just think about this kind of realistically, okay? With, let's talk about bacon, for example. How is having bacon in your community in any way beneficial? And 
how are you justifying the fact that pigs are shoved in gas chambers, having their nuts chopped off, tail docked, teeth clipped? How are you justifying this by this, this argument for bacon, which is easily replaceable and not essential? Well, I just don't think that, 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 I just don't argument. think this about it much, to be honest with you. I mean, what, thinking about it, what do you want? Not thinking about it much is not an argument, is it? It is, That's actually. Going about killing a, people going, well, I'm not thinking about it much, so it's fine. The, <laughs> like, it's not, different with people, though. People, you're, you're talking about... I'm talking about what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. This is, this is real life. This is something that we don't seem to be bringing up in these debates, you know, Dairy cows are getting fists in their vaginas. Appeal, and appeal, getting, appeal to emotion. Yeah, appeal to fully emotion. Appeal to emotion. A fully appeal to emotion. I'm, I'm happy to admit this. Okay. Appeal to emotion. But I'm just stating the facts. This is what happens. You know, we're taking children away from them. How does this justify, you know, being them being outside of the group or not being in the group because you want milk, because you want a replacement, because you want to drink, because you can't drink almond milk or soy milk? How is this ethical? Like we can go on the logic path all the time, but I want to know how is that ethical? We can stop doing it. It's easy. Pick up something else off the shelf. That's it. That's the easy way to do it. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Explain, that. explain, explain how you've you know these animals are outside of your group purely because you want milk and you can't be bothered to pick up soy milk. Uh, I enjoy half and half. I enjoy ice cream and the suffering of cows. I don't think about you enjoy it. the you enjoy the suffering of cows did you say or you no or i you i enjoy i cows? enjoy the products that come from cows and the suffering okay. doesn't doesn't bother is, me is, is, is taste more important than life uh yeah in some cases no no it, well no, in wait cases, wait no cases. for me <laughs> it, for me the taste is <laughs> more taste important for me the taste is more important than the life of the cow yes really so the cow so is a if, product for me so if, if you if you have a child and if you do if you have a child taste of chocolate i'm okay to stab it and eat it because it tastes nice that's cool the, no you obviously I mean? it's stupid. you can't use taste. you can't use taste taste is not a valid excuse to stab an animal to death or to do anything for you it's inside not, your it's, community for anybody for any rational person okay it's a it's a ridiculous argument come on you would not accept that it's a, it's a stupid argument my children and this is kind of what we avoid chil children are not human beings and it, it's I know that it offends people's <laughs> sensibility when you. Oh, I yeah, I messed up. Ch ch cattle are not human beings. Cat children yep. are not cattle. Children yep. are not livestock. There. Nope. Chil I, there. It's debatable but whether children are human beings. Cow too, cows so. are not livestock either. They're living beings that have been now called livestock. Okay. Yeah. So really, I mean, I don't just get down to the gist of these things. There's a lot of screwed up stuff that's being justified for really, really stupid reasons. Okay, there is no reason to be doing these things when we have alternatives. Do you not think the best thing for all of us, for the best thing of the well-being of the planet, for the well-being of the animals, the environment, mm -hmm. that we move what, towards what is, a, what is different, a more what is different, kind world? What is different from what you're doing right now to me than some social conservative shaming gay people? How am, I can, how am I shaming gay people? I'm not shaming. I'm just saying the facts. Well, well, I'm just telling how? you what happened. They, they, would, say, they would say gay it's, people... If telling you the facts is shaming you, you should really think about why it's shaming you. I'm only telling you how food is produced. I'm not dropping any... You know, but you're saying that I shouldn't. Saying you're saying you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't be homosexual. You shouldn't have homosexual sex. You shouldn't be able to get married. That's bad for society. It's bad no, for no, society I'm, I'm when... It's bad for society uh, uh, when homosexuals have sex. That's, e that's I, gross. I, I, it's evil. Are you, you kidding me? racist. Or you shouldn't be homophobic. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying you what are you? What are you? What is different? What is different from the shaming tactic that you're using than that shaming tactic? What is different? Tell because me. I, what is the difference? Because I'm saying, to, okay. Because I'm saying to someone, what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, what this, homos like, are doing is wrong. Shit. Homos shouldn't have sex with one another. Okay. According to that, is homos wrong. have sex to each, with each other. Who's the victim? Yeah, society is the Where's victim. The, Really? So society it, it, suffers it, it, every time gay men have sex. It degrades human beings. I want you to know this is not this is not my argument. This is the argument that many social conservatives have. Okay, they have their take on morality. You have your take on morality. All you're doing here is you're trying to foist your take on morality on me through shaming. And I'm not going to be shamed. I'm not going to be shamed into not enjoying my ice cream 
or my milk or my steak, okay? The, yeah, we we subjugate these animals to our will, and I'm proud so of that. Okay, so you're saying killing all these animals is completely amoral. It's not a moral issue, no? No, not at all. Not at okay. all. So I can get a cow and Just, I can... Hey, it, when, when gay people want to have sex, when gay well. people want to get married, that is not a moral issue at all either. Adam, do you think it's wrong for you to shame the people who are shaming the people um, for being gay? Like, in other words, the yes, Christians who say, yes, okay, yeah, think I think it's, okay? yeah. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're on that side. You're discriminating against the animals, and we're shaming you for your discrimination. How, yeah. how, am, I, how am I discriminating against the animals? Because you're picking the taste of their flesh or their secretions over their actual life. Okay. You know, it, it's just, it's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, like, I'm, I'm shaming, not saying I'm the shaming, veganism's perfect. Are you, are you saying I'm shaming way. animals? I don't think I'm shaming animals, but. No, no, you're not, you're not shaming animals, but you're picking the, you know, Angel, the taste of Angel G is saying I sound like a psychopath, but. No, let me clarify psych, what I was psychopaths, saying. Psychopaths, psychopaths have no empathy for other human beings, which I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have plenty, uh, well, wait, I have wait, plenty wait, of empathy uh, for other human the beings. The first step to psychopathy is often the mistreatment of animals. So, but I just want to clarify what I was trying to say because I kind of had marbles in my mouth when I said it. When someone discriminates against homosexuals, do you think you have a right to shame them for discriminating against homosexuals? Uh, I not, I mean, I, I have a right to try to convince them. That's the same thing. I see what you're, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're discriminating against animals. So we have a right to try to convince you to not discriminate against animals. Right, right, right. I, I have the advantage on my side though, that uh, last I checked homosexuals were human beings. Right. So, and well, they can fight with me. <laughs> the animals are going to have a hard time fighting with you, but no, it's, you know, like, I mean, end, I, we, we don't we're, need, we're at a, we don't need, we're at a stalemate here, and this is why it's so not really interesting. Why is it because... a stalemate? Why is it a stalemate? Because the thing is, right, I'm not, I, I said, I'm not the philosopher here. I'm not the person who follows right. the logic. I'm just, you know, in the well, end. You, you veganism, care, you isn't... care more than me. That's, that's yeah, where the stalemate I, I, is. I, the reason I care, right? I go to slaughterhouses. I see these animals. I go to factory farms. I see these animals. Right. I see them suffering. Okay. I know what they're going through, and I know that it's completely uncalled for. Right. And that we're making these decisions purely because we like the taste of their flesh. Mm -hmm. And that is ridiculous. I'm not saying veganism is perfect, and I'll never claim it's perfect because it isn't. And I'm pretty sure that beyond veganism, there is an even better solution, which we will get to as it comes. But at the moment, veganism seems like the most thought out, like well, you know, structured thing that we can move to to start coming to a better world, which is going to help, you know, like I said, in, you know, the, our own health, the environment, it's going to help the animals. And it's also not going to, you know, completely destroy kind of culture in any way either. You know, we can still have the, the Christmas turkey, you just have it, you know, a, a vegan version or anything like that. It, it's, a, a, you know, a route to a kinder world. I don't see how continuing to eat animals is doing anything to increase our well-being or is ever going to increase our well-being further than we are now. Surely the best thing we should be doing for this planet and for us is to increase well-being and just sticking to eating meat is not doing it. Human well-being. Yeah, or human well-being as well. Do you think humans are benefiting from killing animals, really? Yes. In what way? They're tasty. Because they're tasty. Okay, what about all the heart disease they're getting? What about all the diabetes they're getting? What about the fact that, you know, um, we're literally bringing up a uh, society, you know, I mean, you think about the violence involved in actually slaughtering animals, you know, slaughter, people who work in slaughterhouses have, you know, higher chances of going out and committing domestic violence and rape and stuff. How is this benefiting humans? So there's, there's this thing that they do in business. It's called a cost benefit analysis. So what you're saying, I don't deny, I don't deny that there is downsides, right? But it, if we're, if it's 60% up and 40% down, Let's take the sixty percent up. I'm a, just a pragmatist. I mean, t tell me, tell me how going vegan is going to be a detriment to <laughs> everyone. How how is it going to be a detriment? Because, like I said, we've got all the same foods. All the same foods are all they're all there. 
You want crispy prawns? We got crispy prawns. You want doner kebab meat? We got doner kebab meat. Okay, all of them are that. You, are you talking just... mock meats? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you know, we all the foods are there. So, so there's no issue there. So, what what is it that's going to become detrimental? How are humans going to, you know, except for taste? And taste isn't an argument. Yeah, I, can you turn your mic up? Let's. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, Chris. I mean, I'm not biting. I mean, yeah, you might not for a moment. Do you're you're what's, what you're trying to do is you're trying to like guilt me, and it's really yeah. all it's I'm doing is making me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm to the real. point where I'm I'm ready to go hunting, man. I'm fu- I'm like, I'm well, going go, I'm ready to go out and kill things. Seriously. Yeah, but, yeah. But, I mean, you can say that as much as you want. All I'm all I'm doing is is saying the facts. That's all I'm doing. I know, I know, but exactly. Just, and if, if the facts, it's your you know, it's your cult, man. It's not my cult. I didn't join the cult. cult. I don't I'm want telling, in the cult. Okay, I I subscribe to friended morality. Okay, I don't subscribe to vegan morality. I, I'm, I'm, you might not subscribe to vegan morality, but I'm just telling you how it is. This is how it is. Animals are getting screwed over. It can't be denied. You can't say you know, you can if you say animals are amoral. Then that means we can do anything we want to them. And, and are you going to go that route? Are you going to be like destiny? Are we going to start throwing, you know, getting like torturing animals and stuff because they they're, they're amoral now? Of course not. You've first of all, even you even you've got limits. First of all, we try to make the we're not torturing them for fun. Okay, we're torturing them out of necessity. Okay, well, do you need meat to survive? It's it's. None of your business. Simple question. Do you need meat to survive? A simple question. It's none of your business. What do you mean it's none of my business? It's, it's just a simple question. Because if you don't need meat to survive, it's needless. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. You can't just move You've, on. Like, well, yeah, <laughs> totally. You're just trying to guilt trip me, man. And it's it's like bullshit. It really is bullshit. No, you're, it's, you're, it's a simple question. I, everything that you're saying sounds to me like the jehovah's witnesses on my doorstep you're gonna die you're gonna burn in hell you don't it's totally unethical you're gonna burn in hell aren't you worried about the afterlife do you want all your family to burn in hell no i just it like what you're talking is nonsense to me no really like it's total nonsense this is doing and what you're saying with the comparison to jehovah's witnesses is the jehovah's witness is trying to convince you that you're the victim that you will be the victim of your own actions what we're trying to show you to demonstrate you with the reality of the industry is that the animals are victims. It's not a fair analogy. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm just standing up for the animals. I got nothing to gain from this. Like like I said, Elena, and you know, you can say a lot of stuff I say is appealed to emotion. It's because yeah, I've got a lot of emotion because I've I've seen these animals. A lot of people haven't. I've seen I've seen the conditions there and stuff. And I know, and I know that we could easily just not do it to them. It's it's that simple. There is no big argument that means that those pigs need to be in a, a factory farm, unless you want to, you know, give give me that excuse. And I, I'm I, you know, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a decent one. That's why you're a vegan. Exactly. That's exactly why I'm a vegan. Well, me and the rest, me and the rest of the world don't see it as an excuse. You might not, see, you might not see it as an excuse, but you can't. It, the thing is, you have no argument against it. You're just saying, "Well, I'm just going to do it anyway." That, that's not an excuse. You got to say you're just going to get on with it. Oh, yeah, I don't care. I mean, you, well, you can say I don't care, but it doesn't make you. It doesn't make you particularly moral to just not care. I care. I don't care you, as much as you, okay? There are plenty of yeah. times in life when having too much caring is bad for you. And how is this bad for me? <laughs> let's let's, let's, let's move on. Bad? Let's move on. Let's move how on. We're, we're, not, we're not communicating. You're talking at me. We're not having a conversation. Uh, what, what it's that, been, th- it's been 30 minutes. Chat, it's say. been 30 minutes. Let's move on. Uh, philosophical vegan wanted uh, to take the floor with metaethics. Uh, yeah, I, I can just address the uh, cost-benefit analysis thing really quickly because you, you, you two are kind of talking past each other. When you, when you add up the costs, I mean, he's, Chris is adding up, you know, animal suffering and you don't care about that as much. And it's, yeah, it's, zero. Like, <laughs> animal suffering. You know, can, can, fuck the animals. Can, philosoph- whoa, whoa, whoa. can Philosophical turn his mic up? 
Uh, let me see. You're just a lot really, quieter than us. Am I really quiet for everybody? I'm having a hard time. Give me one you. second, too. All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Am I, am I louder now? It's, a bit... it's hard to tell when you're not speaking relative to people, but I can hear you right now. Okay. I, I just wanted to address the cost-benefit thing really quickly because people can tend to talk past each other when they have either different information or they value things differently. We're oh, listening, Kay. Am I, am, I am I loud enough? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're good. I've turned my volume up, so I don't even know. It's all kind of loud now. <clears throat> okay, okay, thanks. So I, you, you two seem to be talking past each other. And in order to address the value dissonance, you really do have to talk about metaethics. You have to explain, like, why it is a problem that animals are suffering. But you can, you can completely avoid that. I mean, you can make environmental arguments that are very strong. But when you do that, you have to say, okay, like, eating a hamburger or something is that, that's damaging to the environment, it's damaging to other human beings, but so would be say, a joyride in a Hummer. So you have to kind of compare those things and say, look, these are equally damaging, say in, in environmental terms, and you can't moralize one, but not moralize the other. I think sometimes vegans aren't very careful to make that clarification. So it sounds like we're being arbitrary, but when we're making certain arguments, we're not necessarily. Doing Okay. Um, and, I, and I wanted to come back to what you said about the, the cults using arbitrary rules. Are you saying that that's prescriptively good that it's holding these societies together? Because, I mean, we have everything from, like, peaceful, whatever, hippie Raelians to, like, Heaven's Gate, where they're, you know, killing themselves. Or it, it, there are all sorts of different cults. To, so, I mean, to was, the, first of all, I'm talking about communities. There are overlapping communities. Like, we're all in a nation, which is a community. We're all in a state, which is a community. We're all in a city, which is a community. We're all in a, you know, these communities are overlapping. So right, but the all the way down to the heaven's gate, right? But so, yeah. social capital is a thing that is valuable in society. It's a th When you trust people, when you uh, can interact with them and not, you know, crime is low. There's all these things that social capital does for society. So, like, uh, destroying social capital willy-nilly is what I'm worried about. Yeah, but you're not necessarily doing that when you're saying arbitrary arguments are good. The uh, reason, the reason ar arbitrary people, arguments can create social capital, though. But do they necessarily? The only evidence you provided is with respect to these small communities. These small communities within larger communities that uh, if they don't provide enough utility, of course they break down because people just diffuse into the overall nation sure i mean it, our nations are, are in competition with each other people can move between them and those nations offering better better perks people can move to if they meet the requirements to do that definitely yes the, the reason that it's a bad argument that, that arbitrary values are a bad argument is because it is talking about cults and it is talking about these mm, minuscule communities within larger ones where people have options to diffuse out into these larger communities. It's, it's not really supporting anything. For, to me, in my opinion, cult is just a religion that you're not in. That's not how cult is defined, though. Okay. A, a, cult, a cult is very specifically... Uh, I'm, I'm, telling, I'm telling you the way I'm defining it. Okay, well, I mean, it's kind of like ask yourself using murder and that's not really how to find so you're giving you the the, you're credit. the one that used cult whoa, 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 i didn't whoa, use cult whoa, whoa, whoa. hey 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 whoa 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 that you, you, when i say murder that word fully applies to animals it's in the dictionary oh okay, okay. can i can i finish well what, no, what I'm concede, saying, that. You, concede the point it's in the dictionary there's there's multiple the definitions dictionary. correct yeah, ask yeah, yourself of course, that's not yes useful. of course of course, look, and whoa, 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 who
of murder, there are definitions that apply to animals. I correct. Ask yourself. I concede the point that there are multiple definitions of murder. No, 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 no I'm, talking to you. I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking to uh, whoever's talking. Is it Tim right now? It's no, it's a uh, philosophical vegan. But I, I'm just conceding to you oh, because. Oh, whoa, I thought that was Tim. Okay, wait. Philosophical concede on that. There's multiple definitions of murder, obviously, and some of them apply to animals. Right, and we're there are uh, multiple definitions of murder. There are multiple definitions of cult. There are also multiple. Okay, whoa, 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 wait, 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 no, don't sidestep <laughs> it like that. Is there a definition of murder? Wait, 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 wait. Is there a definition of murder that applies to animals? Look, you're contradicting yourself. No, hey, 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 hey don't sidestep. Answer the question. Does do certain definitions apply to animals, yes or no? Certain definitions of cult do, too. I mean, to uh, veganism... Yeah, whoa, 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 guy, 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 guy. This, they, see, hey, this is why rather, I don't like people like rather, this. Hey. No, 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 whoa, whoa. Answer the question. No, yes I, or no? That's not what we're talking about just, right now. I'm just, trying to... Yeah, but, but you, hey, you took a jab at me, Let's saying just, that I'm using a word incorrectly. Wait, and I, I'm, I'm pointing out that... Hey, yes, please, yes, there, stop. Let Thank him, you. My analogy... My analogy so, was so that he's using take a weird word shots at me using the, so, Wait, wait. So don't take weird shots at me using the word wrong. It's in the dictionary. You just acknowledged it. It is a proper use of the term. Hey, so, ask, ask your, your, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask yourself. You, you realize that he is making a point that you and I are miscommunicating over the word murder, though. I am using a different definition than you are using. I, I'm you. No, I'm just I'm just responding to. No, I understand the, that. I'm asking you a separate yeah, yeah. question. Yeah, So I'm just pointing out you can't you can't say I forget the specific no, word. No, I know, but he used I know, I know. That, that's why I'm, I'm not using. Right that's now. why so I'm I am. Out that is why legit. I am conceding the point to you that the yes, definition of murder, the definition so of murder you're using is place. good, right? But you got you understand that the definition I'm using of murder is good too. But that we're using two separate definitions of murder, and it's just confusing the argument. Yeah, sure. Okay, go on. There's there's different definitions. And right now, right now, Philo and I are using diff different definitions of cult, and we're getting yes. confused. Okay, but I don't think we're saying... we're not getting as confused because I I understand that Raelians and uh, Trumpers are are not necessarily the same thing. So anyway, my point is that you've been referring to vegans as a cult. And yes, that, that is applicable under uh, a more casual definition. Right. But when you use that word, just like I, I disagree with ask yourself using the word murder because of the first definition, because of the, the legalistic definition, right. because of how it means unlawfully killing, basically. Right. I mean, executing a prisoner is not murder. Uh, get, having an abortion is not murder. Now, you could call it that, but it just infuses the conversation with a lot of emotional rhetoric, and it's not yes, useful. Yes, I agree. I agree. And ath oh, so atheists would... hate the word community, but I'm go can we call it the vegan community? Is that yeah, acceptable? Yeah, we, we can do that. <laughs> okay. We can do that. I'm just asking you to stop using the word cult, because it does sort of the same thing. Yes. So the vegan community, they have their own rules. Um Sort of. There are, there are major fissures in the vegan community. And I, mean, I take those young... rules and I tear them up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're... There are the deontological vegans who, you know, uh, kind of uh, Francione type vegans. They think, okay, you know, absolutely it's wrong no matter what. Then there are consequentialist vegans who say, okay, you know, eating animal products, harming animals like this, it, overall it has bad consequences. We shouldn't, we shouldn't do it. And they appeal to more empirical evidence. They look, it's damaging the environment and it's, it's harmful right. to the animals. And we should, we should consider harm to the animals because of metaethics, because we want to appeal to a universal morality so that we can all discuss these things and come to agreements. I mean, that's kind of what, what Haidt was getting at with his, with his uh, heterodox academy, yes. right? He wants people to talk together, you know, across these ideological lines so that we can come and we can form a consensus of a universal morality. We can, we can get rid of all the arbitrary in-groups and out-groups <laughs> that's never going to happen but i will well, yeah i mean the, the idea is that at least we can start coming to a consensus and we can start using that to inform our value judgments so that we aren't always talking past each other i i think like i would like vegans to to be helpful in working at one one of the things that bothers me is i i am not into the industrial farming as many people are okay i don't want to see animals suffering i want the meat but i don't i want it to be as uh, the least amount of suffering as possible when vegan right. when vegans say like no you can't do that it's impossible they're like 
they take this extreme position that takes you know fishing away from people like i like what is when you talk about people going fishing like catching fish cutting the fish up and eating them like how is that even remotely like that's well, not bad that's good Adam, I'm you just said you want to cause the least face. amount of yeah, exactly. You just said you want to cause the least amount of <laughs> suffering possible. So hooking a fish, pulling it out of the water, causing it to suffocate is causing it some suffering. It would cause it certainly less suffering if you just left it alone. So the least amount of suffering would be to leave the fish alone. Well, I mean the least amount well, of I, suffering I, I, in that it gets in my belly. Okay. <laughs> would you agree that say I, I I agree that mock meats aren't completely equivalent to animal-based meats. I mean, people can tell the difference. There, there are things like the Impossible Burger. It's getting close, right? People say it's, you know, an 8 out of 10 burger or something like that. Would, right. would you say that because suffering has a little value, you would be willing to accept, uh, you know, an artificial meat, say, say it's a uh, lab meat, say it's the clean meat, as they say, the in vitro meat, maybe that, that tastes exactly identical? Would you say that, that, that we would have a moral compulsion to choose that over meat the required killing animals not at all All of the things being equal not not at, at all. all yeah even though one tastes exactly the same as the other and there's no suffering in one and there's some suffering in the other a lot of people on the left are against uh, gmos and and whatnot but I, I know, they, that's they seem to be for evidence. mock meats and against gmos and it makes it just seems outrageous it's, that's not evidence-based that's it's, yeah. it's ridiculous I'm I mean, not, there, there are no moral. I'm not necessarily issues. against I mean, GMOs, they, so. But I, I mean, there there are deontological vegans who say that mock meats are wrong because they uh, enforce the idea that we need to eat meat, or that they, you know, are emulating this. Like, like mm. some people think that simulated child pornography is wrong. It's it's the same kind of argument that they're making. They're not making a consequential argument. They're not making a rational argument for it. But what I'm asking you is, okay, I, I put before you there, there's there's two options. You can you can kill animals. You can cause suffering. You can get meat. Or you can get the exact same meat. It, it's it's a uh, modern innovation. It's, I'm going to go with the regular cultures. meat. Why? Because I like meat. No, but <laughs> we've established exactly that already. No, I, I know, but it tastes exactly the same. It is meat. It is made from animal cells that have grown without any suffering whatsoever. Just nature. It, so it, it feels I right. Put that on the floor, it feels you right. Know, I've asked Come him the exact on. same question. They're molecularly identical. The economic impact is the same. The amount of people employed is all the same. There's no difference. One's well, how about, required you to kill how the animal, this? the other one doesn't. How about this? What if we just <laughs> use uh, anesthesia? What if we give the cows ecstasy before we kill them? So, <laughs> and we, you don't we, think, like, you, I know that's a joke, but you don't think people haven't already considered this? You can't do that and render meat that's edible by humans. Oh, really? No, well, come and you on. You probably don't want to be anesthetized and killed yourself, so I don't know why you're advocating it. Um, look, can Philosophical and I get into yeah, this Yeah, totally. It's supposed to be I, between I, I, you guys so, anyway. I'd like to finish it with, uh, so, with Adam first, if possible. What, we'll well, finish I mean, how up. long is that going to take? I don't have fucking forever here. Yeah. Well, what do you got left? Because right, well, I've had all I, these I, arguments. I didn't... First of all, I... We're well, supposed I mean, to... is it just to like to fight vegans that we would choose the meat that involves suffering if they're exactly identical? I mean, I know there's some some emotional reason <clears throat> for you to choose that, but I'm just trying to understand where where your argument is coming. Well, from. you're saying you. I said the same thing to Tim. You guys are trying to change my head, and it's not my head that you have to change. It's my heart, and my heart is not going to change. I there's a conf there's six different intuitions that form morality. And my I know, intuitions, that's my int, but no, that's descriptive of my <laughs> proscriptive settings. My settings on those six different intuitions are my pros, my uh, proscriptive view of morality. And those settings, you're trying to get me to change those settings, and I'm not going to change those settings, man. I'm not going to change them for some vegans on the internet. Come on. Let's, well, let's can I ask talk in reality and then I'll shut up. I'll so, shut so up for the rest as far of the stream. As no, let, you're basically saying that you're not amenable to logic and you have an emotional position that you're going to dogmatically so adhere do to you. no matter what. <laughs> I'm, let, let me, so do you. I, I, one, I disagree with that, but yeah. I, I know you just dis hey, I know you up. disagree with that, but the truth is the truth. Go ahead. Okay, so if you like let's say a regular steak that was produced with the least amount of suffering 
is like we'll just give it a quantitative value of 90. Sorry, 90. I just got to point out you, you realize that is just you can determine that's false by the fact that I've already switched my position from carnism to veganism, right? Well, it's not yeah, that I have some have. fundamental issue switching my position. It's you who's never changed your position in your life, friended. You changed your position for emotional reasons and don't know it. All right, but let me just ask my question real quick and then I'll shut up. Um, okay, so but let's the say. Thing, the, okay. Let, let's just say oh, quantitatively. I just want to talk to this fellow guy. Can we, can yeah, we just uh, let me just get through this and then yeah, I'll shut up. I promise. Let's him for the rest that, of the that's stream. Him, so, um, so if you have a, if you say like reg, uh, least amount of harm caused steak is produced, and let's say it has a quantitative value of 80, and then let's say uh, a vegan steak is produced and it has a quantitative value of 70. Would you prefer a steak with a quantitative value of 100 if you knew that that steak was produced by torturing the animal? What is the, quanti what is the quantity? Yeah, what, what are you even talking about there? Quantitative <laughs> value. Quantity is like a value of how good it is. Like, let's say... How good? Rating, what, good in what way? Good taste? To him. To his, to his subjective oh. view of taste. Are you, you're, so, you're telling me to, to play taste off of suffering, right? Right, when exactly. you say quantitatively good, you're talking about how good it tastes, like a 70 and an uh, 80 and a 100. Those refer yes, to how good it tastes? Preci precisely, okay. yeah. I think it's, it's a so, confusing argument. I mean, I, I don't necessarily how know confusing? how to address it. Uh, okay, I'll just say the vegan steak, steak caused no suffering. It tastes the worst. Okay. The regular steak uh, tastes okay. That costs the least amount of suffering. And then the best steak that you've ever had in your life, it's like, it's like an orgasm in your mouth. It caused a ton of suffering. You had to torture the animal, and then the animal was beat to death um, so that it would taste that good. I would save that steak for special occasions. Are you? Is that an honest answer, or is that just another joke? Yeah, no, yeah, I would. Cool. All right, so you'd accept torturing an animal to death for the sake of your taste pleasure. You're, first of all, your conception of torture and my conception of torture are probably no, two no, different no, no, things. You're, no, no, you're a very... Not, okay, you're I'm a sorry, very sorry. You're okay, a very you sadistic won't. motherfucker, so I... I, I won't use, I won't no, use the word torture. I'll use, very, I'll use very specific terms. The animal was flayed alive. The skin was pulled off oh, the okay. animal. Well no, alive, no, of course not. Of course not. I would not. Like, come on. No. Oh, but that's, okay, not what so we, what, that's not what we do, though. I'm not saying that's what we do. I'm trying to figure out what level of concern you have for animals. <laughs> come on. But you, would Somewhere you accept the animal being... Yeah,